Cheers. All right. Thank you for having me on the show. Right. Because that's just fun, right? <laughs> In my new movie, I had to wear a prosthetic nose. Hello, nice to see you again. Yeah. But, no, uh, gonna... Straight to the hay. It's... I... You look weird. Oh, we're back with Margot Robbie, and you love special effects makeup, so you're going to do some right now. The only thing is, I wrote the script, so I'll be your hands. Okay. And you are going to demonstrate on yourself. Okay. okay. All you have to do is read that prompter right there. Mm -hmm. Go. <laughs> I'm Academy Award nominated actress and Australia's sweetheart, Margot Robbie. I love special effects makeup and right now, I'm gonna show you a few things I've learned over my years in Hollywood. <laughs> First, it's possible to completely change a person's face. In my new movie, I had to wear a prosthetic nose. <laughs> Fake teeth are also a huge part of special effects. I'll put some on to show you. Oh my. <laughs> Next up, we have some white makeup. You can use this to do Queen Elizabeth or the clown I dated for a few months when I joined the circus. It's like I said, Lee, like I said to Lee on the set of Wolf of Wall Street. Paint my face like one of your French girls. <laughs> he didn't laugh. <laughs> now, sometimes, sometimes we use makeup to create injuries. Like a big bruise, I can give myself a right a bruise right now on my face. <laughs> I have it in my mouth. Um, <laughs> This reminds me of the bruises seen on Nancy Kerrigan's knee in I, Tonya, <laughs> Ellen. <laughs> and you can use red lipstick <laughs> to make the cut. <laughs> but just like regular makeup, it's important to set it all with a good amount of powder. <laughs> That aliens uh, sketch, um, I knew, and I, I saw it before, and I and I showed it to Portia because she hadn't seen it, and I was like, there is no way they told Ryan what Kate was going to do. There's no way you knew what Kate was going to do to you. Uh, listen, <laughs> I'm familiar with Kate's work. Uh huh. I know how committed she is to her craft. Right. And I expected her to. Uh, you know, be very professional. <laughs> and, uh, you know, take this sketch to its, to its furthest conclusion. You Did know? you know that she was gonna ask you to stand up and she was gonna squeeze your butt cheeks together? Did you know any of that? That I knew. There was a lot more that I appreciate you're not showing in this photograph that happened. I did not, but, you know. When she put her the... face in your butt? Wow. Yeah. So, because you were laughing so hard. It was so fun. Oh. It was so fun to watch you stand there and just, I mean, because that's just fun, right? <laughs> it was unexpected. <laughs> no, it's the, the, she's so fun to work with. She's so, that, that cast is so talented yeah. and it's such a, a fun ride. Yeah, the, it, it, well, it is a great cast, and, and, but you're always great on it and you're so, it makes, it makes everybody laugh when you laugh. I, I think that's what we look forward to is you want to see someone break you like that because, well. you know. <laughs> She, she did it. She did it. Yep. She, she did it. <laughs> sister, my sister's in town. She came with me last night right. to the Globes. Gosh, we had fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she had so much fun. Yeah, she must. Well, that was your first time at the Globes too, right? Yes. Now, that's quite a time to be your first time there. I mean, the table that we were at, well, you're there. Yeah, I'm, I was you're there. You, you, are, you are to me, you know, everything. And then Portia, yep. everything. And then we had Carol Burnett, you yeah. know, yeah. American legend, right. everything. And then there was also Beyonce and Jay-Z at the table. Right. Which, <laughs> I mean, they're the king and queen of America. They are. They're, they were unbelievably gracious, but my sister and I found out that we were gonna be at their table 
and started panicking and making a list of like, well, what can we say? We live in one bedroom apartments in New York City. What can we say? We, um, you know, do you use HelloFresh? Do you, um, <laughs> what kind of milk do you like to drink? You know, and so, but, <laughs> so my sister went right over and, and was, had, had this balls of steel and just was great. And Beyonce was so nice. And I was just such a, I just pretended I had something on my pants and was sort of like, <laughs> So I wow. blew it. But I you blew meet, it. But you meet so many every <laughs> every week on SNL. There's some huge person hosting and doing sketches with you. Not I mean, Beyonce. Oh, <laughs> we all know that's different. Right. We all know. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 weird to see you with hair. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> and it's I don't know why. And people are freaking Thought out we'd about start it. Start with hello. Nice to see you again. Yeah. But, no, uh, I'm gonna straight to the hey. It's, I, you look weird. No, no. It's cool. You don't totally look cool. weird. It's just that we're so used to seeing you with no hair. Yeah. <laughs> Drink it in, everybody. Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. So how long did you have? Whole crowd is covered in weird <laughs> sauce. <laughs> yeah. No. It's like the dinner at the holidays with the one weird relative. It gets really awkward. No, no. We are there right it's, now. Here's, I just want to know, how long did you wear your hair that way where we were used to it? Uh, it's as long as I can remember. For and then, 40 years now. Uh, well, why? And then why all of a sudden now grow it out? Why not? Oh, well, there's why, the why answer. Why not embrace the uncomfortable for once, right? Is it uncomfortable to have hair? Totally uncomfortable. No, it's not. I just want to go get my $8 haircut, and now I'm... Well, throwing product in my head. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> it's awesome. It's great. But it's, it's obviously easier to take care of when you have it buzz like that. Yeah, you can get out of bed and you're ready yeah. to go. Yeah. yeah. It's just weird. You, I mean, you look younger. It, younger? You wanted to say weird? No. But uh, you settled on younger, which I'm cool with that. No. Totally cool with that. Thank no, you. it's just, you know, when you're used to seeing somebody a certain way. <laughs> but I like it. It's been awesome because uh, WWE fans are very dedicated and very devoted. And I was gone for, oh, we have one WWE fan. Thank you. Thank you. I wasn't even expecting applause for that, but thank you very much. So I, I went to film a movie in China and the movie was like six months long. And in the process, I grew my hair out. So I left with a buzz cut and I came back with this. And everybody's like, you've ruined my childhood. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure my life out and yeah. wear a haircut. And everybody's like, you yeah. ruined my life! And I'm like, whoa, I'm so sorry. So yeah. it's, it's kind of weird. It, like, it was a great exercise in embracing the uncomfortable yeah. because apparently I've altered the space-time continuum for some yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it's cool to be able to just try something new. Yeah. And then it must have been some like, off-handed conversation I was having, having with my parents. And they were talking about life, what was, you know, what life was like for them in China in the 60s and 70s, like oh. how much trouble, you know, well, all of the things that they went through to try to immigrate to Canada. And I was like, this is fascinating. This is really compelling. And then I was like, people should know about this. Because, you know, my parents, a lot of immigrant families, we, we minimize our stories because right. we feel like, oh, that's not important. Except people don't, don't want to know about, about that. People, people don't want to know about the struggle. And I'm like, I'm telling you, people want to know about it. Want to know about it, yes. And so I called the book agent up and I was like, hey, you haven't heard from me in a year, but how about this? It's not a memoir about my life per se. Yes, we'll get there. But I want it to be the story of our whole family, oh. of our journey, of, of our family of dreamers. Because for, for me, it was my dream to be an actor. And, nice. and that decision led me to kind of risk everything and pursue this you know, wholeheartedly. For my parents, it was this dream of like pursuing academic success yeah. in Canada, building a better life, giving their kids like new opportunities. And so it's just so interesting how many parallels there were between our lives and how our generations were connected by this just ambition and desire to just look off into the horizon and say, I'm gonna, I wanna go there. Yes. And just do it. So you just got back from camping, but I saw the pictures. I've never camped, but this, does, this looks like I would camp if this is what <laughs> camping is. I saw pictures, where did you go? Uh, we went camp, my husband and I went camping in Catalina. And I'm born and raised in California, but I never really explored outside of my zip code. That wasn't like some, my family wasn't an outdoorsy camping kind. Isn't he cute? Your husband? That's very cute. I like him. I'll keep them. Um, and, and so we went camping, and I'm look, I'm wearing a backpack. There wasn't anything in the backpack. It was just like an empty backpack. And somebody else carried all of our food and stuff to the campsite. So somebody told me I'm not allowed to call it clam, gamp, what, camping, I can't talk. 
that I have to call it glamping. Yes, I've heard about glamping, which is something I would do. So you're watching Sunset and, yeah. <laughs> and having uh, some wine and cheese, and then you, what, do you sleep in tents though? We slept in tents. Uh -huh. so it wasn't very cold, because it's beautiful California. I mean, look, if I could camp like that, I'll go camping all I would, I've never been to Catalina. I've never been on it's that island. gorgeous, I, I, I'm, beautiful. I should go one day. Yeah. Let's do the show from Catalina one day. <laughs> Tonight, in a few hours, you are going to the Emmys. It's your very first Emmy nomination. Ooh, yes, it is. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Just chilling here first. You know, have to stop by here. Good luck, Charm. Yeah. First of all, I have to, before I tell this story, I'm hyped. Because y'all helped me with the Emmys, and I didn't get to, to say anything, but I just want to cheers and be happy oh. that I'm on this show. I came yeah. out a little bit nervous. You're bringing them back? I'm bringing yeah. what back? Uh, you're, you're returning these? I'm returning. You guys gave me shots at my first Emmys and got me through it. And so I just wanted to return the favor. All right. I can't open this. You got too much lotion on your hands. I do. Yeah. I don't want to be ashy for Ellen. Yeah, no. Shoot. <laughs> 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 well, now you've, okay, here, I got it. You're so strong. Yeah, Thank I you. know, I know. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Thank you for having me on the All show. Right. Mm. <laughs> but, uh -huh. So, um, first of all, this is a very flattering because, uh, you know, this is, you said you want to be a combination of Oprah and Diddy and me. Yes. Yeah. So, yes, I do. Yeah. So, I wanted to see what that would look like, and it's not pretty. Um, <laughs> that's exactly what I want to look like. Yeah. So I... Maybe, maybe stick with who, who you are. You look much better. Thank um, you. I hope. <laughs> 